yeah. after uh, Emperor Constantine accepted uh, like Christianity, it, there was a boo in the Christianity, but that wasn't by conversion. It was by forcing the populace, getting rid of those who that were deemed heretics, those were people who were put to the death, right? So the people who were deemed by heretics by Constantine and the, and, and the Roman Empire, yeah, yeah. they were put to the sword. Now, that was the case throughout uh, Christian history, even after the advent of Islam. Now, when we talk about the Islamic it. history, what was the propagation of Islam? Now, yes, the, I don't on, know. I just on. know Mohammed was a warlord, so, so you're going to have to... Okay, so, the, okay, so well, what, let me I'll address the warlord oh, sorry, claim, sorry. and then I will address the history of the Islamic Empire, right? No, now, do you Muhammad mind if I uh, help you guys out? No, Muhammad yeah. Salah Ayyusala, did he go to war? Yeah. Yes. Now let's look at the wars that he uh, participated in, right? 29 battles in his lifetime, okay, if I'm not mistaken. 29 battles in his lifetime. Is this a speech or, or, or are we having a dialogue? Well, it's a dialogue, but he has made a historical... No, why are you buttoning him? Why are you, you buttoning him? So, speaker's you corner! Oh, so when I said okay, speaker's on, corner earlier on, so I, I was buttoning in. No, I'm saying this is a debate. Please stay over there, your breath stinks. You, you stink, bro, by the way. Bro, he's not aggressive to me, this guy. Yeah, he's, 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 he's very aggressive. He's getting very aggressive. Yeah, he's most really part, aggressive. Bro. They were defensive. Mind you, I thought he was peaceful. They were defensive. Defense pretty ridiculous. He's oh. Oh. Look, Look at the big boy. Big boy, what's wrong with you? Why are you calling names, eh? Come on. He can't hear me, yeah? Only on this only on okay? So for the most part, they were defensive wars, okay? No, none. None. He's a liar. He's a liar. Some of them were offensive. Some of them were offensive. Right, where he took his army out of camp to go and engage another army. Okay, the number I can't tell. You. What happened in these wars? Not many casualties. Not many casualties. Only 700 beheaded. Massacres. Right. The expulsion of uh, two of the Jewish um, uh, tribes was based upon treason. Uh, as well as, and the third one, they were executed based upon treason. Only the grown men. Okay. <laughs> Why didn't he forgive them? And Why didn't he forgive them? The conquest of Mecca. He doesn't believe when in he forgiveness. When he went to invade Mecca, he forgave the entire population of Mecca, apart from ten individuals who were put to the sword, who were executed for their crimes against Islam and uh, the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Now, after his death, there was the apostasy wars, where Abu Bakr uh, uh, fought the apostates. Um, and then conquered the Arabian Peninsula. Did and he kill any of the apostates? So hold you're on. making a case no, 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 that Muhammad isn't a warlord, history. like as because so, my thing is like right, okay. So you need UK, to know. It's a warlord. Right. So you need to understand. Basically you need to understand the concept of a. All right. So the concept warlord. of a warlord is someone. All right. Who he's is asking what's what. My basic understanding, warlord. not necessarily dictionary definition. No, no, no. But a warlord is someone that like he's got a group of guys and he's going around conquering. That's how they acquire resources and women. Okay. No. And he was the leader of that. That's actually, no, that's not the that's not the definition. All right, but let's not get in court no, no, semantics. No, 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 but definition is wrong. Bring it over here, bring it over no, here. No, but all right, we're going to debate. I'm asking you, I'm asking no, you if you agree. No, but that's a silly question. No. Like, okay, so you agree. I don't agree that definitions are important. Come on, like, there's only one answer to that. Okay, so what happened? After Muhammad peace be upon him died, you got a mic. When Muhammad peace be upon him was alive, no, there was no conquest. Conquests ca uh, can happen after his death. So when you, if you, if we were to use your definition of a warlord, it does not apply to the Muhammad peace be upon him. Because okay? you don't know about his, uh, his war history, second. I can, I can I'm help. I'm not saying that I don't know. So, okay, you, do you know so about the uh, he killed like the Jewish let's tribe, right? The, let's talk He's about lying. The conquest of Islam. The conquest is of But this is a debate as well, so we can't... No, no, yeah, no, you no, can't no, just no, have no, a monologue no, here. Wait, it's a discussion or debate? It's a discussion. Oh, yeah. It's not a moderate debate. Right, I'm getting to the end. So, what happened with the conquests uh, of the Islamic Empire? Yes, wars were fought on the battlefield, but in the cities that were conquered, People were not put to the sword to accept Islam. If anything, if you look at people like, for example, Dr. Roy Casagranda, right? He's a, he's a political scientist, right? Who actually yeah, yeah. Lo who loves history and looks uh, at this uh, uh, period of uh, history. Is he on the left or is he on the right? A guy I'm not, I'm not sure of his political yeah, position. Right? I know however, those on the left of, of however, sympathize however, with Islam however, and despise Christianity. However, his he spoke at this year's. Um, uh, no, no, I'm good, I'm good. Gov I'm good. Government, uh, world, world Government Conference, okay? Yeah, yeah. He spoke at this year's World Government Conference, so he's actually someone that's hey, worth uh, taking his opinion. So Dr. Yeah, Roy Casagranda is very clear that um, when Muslims uh, invaded uh, and, and conquered these cities, they fought the battles on the battlefield, but the cities they left alone, and that's how they improved them. 
right? Why because they didn't, they didn't lay so waste. Man, they didn't lay waste. Improve? Of, What's the definition of improvement? So they improved yeah. the cities by. So what was the what was the procedure of the Muslims? Okay, when they entered the city, they let the people keep their property, their wealth. They didn't loot. They didn't rape. Okay. Did they make which them is, dimmy? Which is? Did they make them dimmy? But sometimes I'm speaking yeah, to him. No. However, no. so to address this point, so you understand the, the, the term dimmy. Dimmy is what do you call it? A, a, a second a grade citizen. A, a protected people. A second that is grade what, what, citizen. No, no, but that no, is what that's a bit like. No, no, no. Protected people is like. Dimmy. That's dimmy. what you say like dimmy. when you conquer a city. No, no, no. We're protected no, no, no. on dimmy. a reservation. Dimmy. Dimmy. Dimmy you have to pay money to save your people. life. If you don't now, pay money, you're dead. Now we had something which is called the jizya. The jizya was a tax. Uh, uh, upon the population that were not Muslim. Yeah, okay. otherwise they'll die. Because if they don't pay. Uh, because that was that money was paid, right, to improve the city, as well as uh, protect the inhabitants what of the city. What was the rate of uh, taxation of jizya on the first? Less than a zakat. Huh? Less okay, than less than. Okay, okay, good, good. Look, bro, let me so, let me just so say something the, here. Let me just say something here. So he's lying. So okay, I'm listen, listen. I'm speaking to him. No, no, no. I'm speaking to him. I'm gonna make a point. You just lied. Has given me you said it was half, more less than half. It wasn't. No, I said less than. No, I said he was fifty percent on the inhabitants of uh, Khaybar. That's a, that's a lie. Fifty percent of the crops of uh, Khaybar. He's lying, and that was the it was the prophet. After he killed all the men, beheaded them. Why did he behead them after the war? Why? That's extortion. If fifty percent. Okay. That's, that's what we get taxed in the West. You're lying. You, you can, without uh, lies, Islam dies. You, you, can, you can fact check him. Fact check him. Fact check. You fact check, check me. No, you no, fact no, check no, me no, now. No, Tell right, me in Khaybar right what I'm was the jizya. Yeah, Alright, this is my point, yeah? My speak point is that. Stop the, being no, liars. My point is that the very existence of Speaker's Corner shows the difference between Christianity and Islam. Because in a Christian country, you, you can, can have you know, Muslims yeah. freely say their ideas and Christians can say, all right, let's go back and forward intellectually, philosophically, whereas in non-Christian countries, and again, we're Christian countries, we're backslidden, so we don't fully represent the ideals of a Christian country. But even like our heritage, our inheritance, we still have like the vestiges of Christianity. So even with the vestiges of Christianity, Muslims can speak and I understand it's, uh, it's not solely Christian, like you got those of the Greek tradition and whatnot, the Roman tradition that also were into debate and whatnot. Okay, but flip the script. If I was to go to, and I love, I love Muslims, I grew up in London, obviously got loads of Muslim friends. This is not personal. If I was to go to Pakistan, if I was to go to Bangladesh, if I was to go to um, Afghanistan, let's say, I can't set up a speaker's corner and say, Jesus Christ is the son of God. Only Jesus Christ can take no away way. your sins. I couldn't do that. No so way. we're talking about the history. I'm saying in the current day, when you look at what Christianity produces, because Jesus said, by your fruit, you will know them. When you look at the fruit that Christianity produces versus the fruit that Islam produces, you see that Christianity like is open to more ideas. Why people, why Islam does have Amen uh, to that. A reputation for being militant, basically. So because their prophet is, was militant. Is, yeah, I don't want to necessarily like debate Muslims because Jesus wants to save Muslims as well. Yeah, Jesus died on a cross for Muslims. I know you don't believe in it, but he died on a cross for Muslims. He rose again for Muslims. So that I understand, I understand. So that you lot can have eternal life because this is the thing. In Islam, how is your sin paid for? My sin is paid for the fact that I'm a sinner, but the perfect Savior, Jesus Christ, Amen. it was a switch. Ultimate he died Christ. on the cross, took my sin, and gave me his righteousness. The ultimate sacrifice. So that's, that's all we believe. And Hallelujah. I would maybe like to know, where does Islam, how does Islam atone for your sin to guarantee your spot in heaven? Because I guarantee, as long as I don't backslide, Heaven is going to be my home. Whereas Islam, I understand you can't necessarily guarantee that heaven's going to be your home. It's a bit of a like, we'll see. Was Muhammad's father saved? Was he, or did he go to Jannah, Muhammad's father and mother? So to go back. So how's a Christian? How's a Muslim? How does a Muslim get to heaven? I'll get to that. I'll get to that. But well, let me no, address your other. Let me address your other point. No, let me address your point. How can you pray though? Let me address your point. How can you pray? Let me address. Can I just no, leave no, it no, because I can hold it. No, it's cool. I'll just cool. leave it on your. Yeah, they don't need to hear me. Okay. My point is this, yeah. 
if I'm a judge, if I'm standing in for murder, and I'm about to go down for murder, no good deeds I do will take away that murder. No prayer to the judge, judge please, God please, it's not going to take away the murder. I've done that sin and I deserve that punishment. The only way we can be free is if someone takes the punishment. There's nothing outside of the punishment being taken that can set us free. And that's all the gospel, that's what we're saying as Christians. And you know what? I want to tell you, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Afghanistan, all these nations, in my lifetime, they could become Christian nations. Revival, Jesus could touch, Jesus could touch. You look at me. No, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not a Christian nation. You look can be even more Christian. You can be even more Christian than Britain. But like that's our prayer that we hope that you lot make that choice that Jesus visits you in dreams and in visions, speaks to you and says, shows you that he is the way. And because this is the thing, all right? When Joseph, when Joshua stood before the Israelites when they were about to go into the promised land, he said, choose you this day. So that's all the gospel says, choose you this day. It's your choice, okay? So even if I grew up in a Christian family, I had to process all religions and say, I'm not, I don't want to be a Christian because that's my background. Same like Muslims need to say, I don't need to be a Muslim because I'm a background. Let me hear all the other arguments. And one thing about a Christian country is at least you can hear the arguments versus a Muslim country where your life might be in danger, possibly. Christians are joining you out. Uh, no, it might be in danger if you share these ideas. Right. Tell him to stop. Uh, Tell him your buddy to stop. Right. That's your buddy. Right. That's your buddy. Right. That's your. Lamin is Muslim. I don't hate Muslims. Lamin is Muslim. I don't hate Muslims. Muslim. I'm not against you. Lamin, Lamin, Lamin. Lamin. Okay, so, He's the clown. So to address, to address your point, to address your point, Speaker's Corner exists not because it's a Christian country, precisely because it's not a Christian country. It's a secular country. It's, it may have a Christian monarch. It has a Christian monarch, but it's... Let's hold on, say, hold on. I, I don't want to okay. talk on no, his no. faith, but... Regardless of the denomination, he, he identifies... His doesn't make it seem like he's a Christian. Right, but the point is, the faith of the monarch is Christian, okay? So we have a... No, 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 have, no, no. Hold on. the faith of the country. No, because the faith of the Remember, the church is the one that crowned him, all right? Yes, so it's, it's not the faith of the country. It's not his faith. It's the faith of the country. The country is run by secular law, not Christian law. Secular law. By secular law, not Christian law. That's why you have uh, Speaker's Corner. Because when when Christianity throughout history had control, it was no one could speak about anything else. They would be That's put to the sword. Like I said, you can go away and look at the history. No, I've looked of at these things. I've been a Christian many years. I've looked at these that's things. That's fine. And I, again, that's why I speak about fruit. I'm saying we're physically sitting, it standing oh, no, no. here in me, England. But yes, speaking. It's a, it's a, yeah, but it's a secular country. Now I'm not here. Now if you want to talk Saudi about Arabia, the Muslim freedom, country, the freedom to preach in Muslim countries, that is precisely why we still have Coptic Christians. Right? No, this no, is no, 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 another this lie, another why. lie. There are people can the church is a bomb. Is is a, is a other another lie. This is why there are apostates who we know of who have converted from Islam to other religions. Can the Coptic Christians build a church? Executed Islam. because Islam. the law of apostasy. Hold on, hold on. lies, Islam dies. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Because the law of apostasy is very, um, 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 like, um, you're saying What's it's liberal. It allows no, 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 it's not liberal. It's not liberal. The law of prophecy is very. Uh, what's the word? What's the word? Specific. Specific. Okay. Give us the specific, please. So a person that changes his religion is not to be put to death. It's not right? to be put to there death. There is a difference between a minor apostate and a major apostate, okay? A major apostate is one who leaves the religion and then causes corruption in society and causes and could be a potential harm to the Muslims in that society. Uh, like what? Like, like what? Wait, a major like apostate, what? but a major does that apostate? include ideas? Like if I was to convert from Islam to Christianity and I went around like, no, but I'm Islam starting well, to infect every Muslim with my idea, saying, you need to repent, you need no, to turn to you, Jesus. If you were to preach, 
You're, you have the right to preach. No, but I mean, like, really try and convert them. Muhammad wait, wait, is bad. Yeah. Allah's no, not real. No, wait, wait. If you, if you slander. Wait, wait. What yeah. 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 Then blasphemy. that's a different story. No, okay, exactly, you can be held accountable. Jesus is God is blasphemy. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. saying Jesus is God is blasphemy. Wait, bro, bro. No, blasphemy is just saying. Wait, bro, bro. If I say Jesus is God in, like, let's say I go to Saudi Arabia. There's a difference between stating your own belief. Yeah, but Muslims will say, Muslims, in his best to say that Jesus is God. Everyone will say, everyone will agree he is. So they'll go to Saudi Arabia and say Jesus is God. You know that as well. Yeah, that's for me. It's, uh, his job is to lie for Islam. That's what it, Islam is. Please, taqiyya, more. More taqiyya, more taqiyya. The blasphemy laws are very specific as well, right? Are they? they no. Tell me the blasphemy laws, laws in Pakistan. What are the blasphemy laws in Pakistan? Let me, let me, let me, no, I just want to say this. No, because the I'm going to ask you on, like, the, on the sin. The Bible says will, like, knowledge puffs up, so knowledge makes you proud, love edifies. So I'm just trying to move in love right now. Right. It's not necessarily, because we can have the facts and fight. In Islam, in Islam. I just want to know, Christians love you, Christians love Muslims. That's what I've been trying to... Um, Look, I believe, I believe, I believe you are sincere in trying to save people. Yeah. Otherwise, you wouldn't be preaching your religion, okay? Because you want people to be saved. And to be Likewise, fair, I was literally oh, speaking no. with one guy, I don't know. trying to share oh, my faith with yeah, him, yeah, and the Muslims came around yeah. and started they don't want you to tell, talk to is, So that's how it started. I know, I know, I know. So, in terms of uh, what you call it, um, our sin, okay? How are we saved, okay? When we sin between ourselves and Allah, we ask Allah for His forgiveness. Okay? And that's it. And Allah is the most merciful. But how? Oh, oh, yeah, but where's okay. justice so, so the Okay, so justice, alright, when someone is sinning towards you personally, it is your choice whether to forgive or not. So if you choose to forgive, then that is just. Yeah, but what if you hold hold on, hold on. If you're sinning against God, no. So how does God forgive? As soon as the tongue utters it, you're forgiven, right? So Allah is quick to forgive but right? not just he even says is he to just us, he even says to us right in a hadith qudsi right which comes directly from him right he says if you walk to me if you put, put a hand out i'll put an arm out obviously this is metaphorically speaking if you walk to me i'll run to you so he's always quick to forgive you right when you repent well, however justice, hold on however, i'll come to it i'll come to it right however there are conditions to repentance is to admit your guilt is to feel bad about it, to have remorse, and to do your best not to repeat it, right? To do your best, because Allah knows that you will sin again. He knows that, right? Because you're human, you're created weak. Now, where does the justice come in? When you sin upon another person, let's say I hit you, and I say, oh God, forgive me, you know, I hit this man. He will not forgive me until you forgive me, because... I'm not talking about sins against no, 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 man, no. I'm talking about sins against God. No, because even in the, no, but it's in a the sin. parable... Because, no, no, hold on. In the parable... Well, let me finish. Let me it finish. says, like, I've sinned against the Father. Right, right. Even David says he sinned against God, like... We're talking about sins against God. Yes, okay. How does but God saying, forgive no, sins against himself? He forgives. He chooses to forgive. No, but where's the that justice? That is justice. That is justice. Is no, no, wait, 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 wait. he's letting wickedness slide. No. Wait, wait, wait. Just one second. No. Uh, wait, just one I'm second. Speaking just him. one I'm second. No, no, no. Look, I'm, I'm here. here. I listened listen to what he said. What you're Muslim. saying is, does, a, a, does Allah put a Jew or a Christian in place of a Muslim with heavy sins? Then they come on the day of judgment. Allah will take a Jew or a Christian, put him in place of a Muslim. That's as, his justice. As, as a Muslim, it's in his hadith. He cannot okay. deny it. As a, Do you deny the hadith? As a Muslim, Do you deny I have, the hadith? my religion teaches me when someone is looking at me in the eye, I respect him and I address him. The will Allah put a Jew or a Muslim Christian in place of a Muslim with now, heavy you sins according to your hadith? Is no, 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 that no. justice? No, I want to give you, I want to give so you your So tell us if it's justice. Okay. So Allah just but forgives. No, no, no. no he puts you. Muslim or a no, Christian in to, place of a Muslim. You're used to a system where there is payment. Ask no, him. However, why does he not Islam, believe in the hadith? Do you believe in the hadith? Or Abraham. Okay. We believe We believe in Abraham because he sacrificed. Moses sacrificed. The no. Jewish, no, Abraham Sayyid, didn't Sayyid. sacrifice. Sayyid. Huh? Abraham didn't right. sacrifice, um, what do you call it, for his sin? Right, for the atonement of his sin. 
You can bring the Bible, but I'm going to bring the Bible. What about Moses, though? Is Moses a prophet in Islam? Yes, he is. He instituted animal sacrifice to take away the sins of... Not just animal sacrifice. No, but... Do you agree about just animal sacrifice? What other sacrifice? Flour. Yeah, grains and stuff, but there was definitely the animal sacrifice. No, no, so blood is not the means of atonement. It is. Without blood, there is no remission of sins. That's Hebrews, okay? It says in the Torah, my friend. That's Hebrews. Hebrews, exactly. No, no, because the Old Testament... Based on the Old Testament tradition. The Old Testament tradition is not based on blood. You had to sprinkle the blood. Even uh, at the mercy seat, no. the so Holy of Holies, you had to no. sprinkle the blood. That's why, right? No, because blood was considered the highest of the sacrifices. But, but there's life in the no, blood. No, no, in Islam, in Islam, when we sacrifice animals during the Hajj, it is to commemorate the sacrifice that Abraham did. Why did he sacrifice Abraham? He doesn't, know anything. No. he doesn't know anything. He doesn't know anything about the sacrifice. Now, you don't know Allah, nothing. Now, Your Quran Allah, doesn't Allah, tell you anything Allah about the sacrifice of Abraham. Sacrifice you don't know nothing. He says in the Quran that it is not the blood that reaches him, rather it is the piety and the obedience of the person doing the sacrifice that reaches him. Now okay. Allah, he's con contradicting himself there. No. If that's what he says, what? then no, Allah if Abraham is a, if Moses is a prophet, so not Allah, Allah. how you said it? Um, Allah, yeah. What? Uh, Abraham is a prophet. Moses yes. is a prophet. Yes. Moses clearly instituted animal sacrifice to show the pattern that our Passover. Root remember the Passover would be sacrifice. Even from the beginning, remember when Adam and Eve sinned, God killed an animal, gave them coverings as a picture of what would come. Covering their that sin. Animal no, sa okay. that covering their sin was skin by an cover animal. Us. So, from the sacrifice. Christian, from the Christian perspective. This is more interesting. This is boring out there. That's fine. What do you call it? People, Actions over people, there. People love the drama. The actions over there. I'd rather us come to truth. No, I don't yeah? So, so he doesn't want to uh, the, the blood sacrifice from the Garden of Eden. He might be Christian in like two weeks. Who knows? No, he he's no. Just, he's been here a long time. He's a regular. So, he's, so here's the he's thing. A regular. So here's the thing. In the Christian perspective, now the slaughtering. You didn't, you didn't explain us your. Blood sacrifice. You mentioned it. Yes. We do blood sacrifice in commemoration of our Abrahamic sacrifice. We asked you, why did Abraham sacrifice? I'm going to ask you, yeah, to respect him and let me respond to him. Well, I'm working with him. All right. Should we read no, the room please. and call it a day? Maybe we'll just call Look, it a if day. You, yeah. If you want to speak to the crowd, then you can speak no, to no, the crowd. No, no. I'm everyone's here. everyone's I'm moved here. on. What's your name? Mohammed. Mohammed. Yeah. Currently. Curly. Yeah. Nice, uh, nice speaking to nice you, man. One. I seen you on YouTube, uh, Corey. Bro, where's that? The girl was going. The girl was going to aggress me for no reason. Guy, him. Nah, he's cool. He's cool. It's all love. No, no, but he came up to me. Yeah, I know. I didn't say nothing about. That's why I tried to call him back. Yeah, thank you. I didn't say nothing about Islam. I said nothing about Christianity. The guy came up to me and I'd comment him saying, "Oh, I'm ugly." Right. Forgive him. He's like the guy's like sixty. Forgive him. The guy. No, I'm not saying. Yeah, no one is. You're sincere, but people like him. All right. All right.